Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. <gasps> Although this time, we have to specify it's the original version of Nemesis. Yes, of course, we got the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis remake uh, last year, I believe. Pretty sure it was last year, and well... Well, well, well. That was a very different game, wasn't it? Like, um, a... Very, very, very different game. Um, it's difficult to say which one I prefer because they're not, they don't even feel like the same genre, let's be honest. Uh, these black screens take fucking forever on this emulator to actually uh, go through. So, although I'm trying to skip them. <sighs> In fact, I have to push this button, which speeds the emulator up. There we go. Um, yeah, very, very different. This is the uh, original game, the Dreamcast version, because uh, that's my favorite version of the game. Although, interestingly enough, coming back to this, uh, I have played a little bit of it, not much. Just testing the emulator out and whatnot. Uh, the buttons, the... Uh, oh, no, stop going into that config mode. That's really, uh, config mode, demo mode. That's so annoying on this emulator. There we go. Um, I haven't played a lot of it. So, uh, picking this back up again, I have realized, A, it's really nice not to have to play with a Dreamcast controller. And B, wow, they really fucked the controls up for this game. <laughs> it's, it's not great, is it? At all. Um, yeah. Yeah, interesting stuff. I did try um, and practice the dodge in this game because there is a dodge button and it's just, it's crap. I just, uh, you can trigger it like pretty easily, 90% or say, okay, okay, let's walk that back, 75% of the time. But when you need it to trigger, it doesn't and unfortunately <laughs> that kind of leaves it renders it kind of useless in my opinion um, yeah the buttons are weird as well like why goes into your map the start button brings up the games menu and B goes into your inventory I really don't like that but hey it is what it is uh, but the actual game itself the Dreamcast version well it's fantastic, man. It really is. So, let's hit up new game. Uh, we can play easy mode or hard mode. This is very misleading, personally, I think. Uh, easy mode is... I mean, okay, look, it is easy, but... You start off with a lot of the weapons, not all of them. But it also locks out a lot of items um, and special weapons and things that you can get from downing uh, Nemesis. So, I mean, it is an easy mode, yes, but it it should have been called something else because a lot of people would have been, well, I don't really want to play the game hard, unless your name's Jimmy. Um, I would like a middle-of-the-road difficulty. There isn't one. So, do you want to be easy? Or do you want to have a hard, difficult time? Uh, and the reason I say hard mode is misleading is because it's, not actually hard at all. We should have had like action uh, orientated mode or something or like maybe even, I don't know, arcade mode. And then hard mode should have been called like, I don't know, traditional mode or something. Yeah, very misleading um, start to the game. So anyway, we're going to have hard mode. Because we have Nemesis to fight. And we are going to be fighting him. Because... Why not? Uh, now, the Dreamcast version has all of these costumes unlocked from the start. Don't know why. <laughs> these were unlockables in the PlayStation version. You had to complete the game once and unlock a special key, which, yeah, cool, okay, cool, fine. But the Dreamcast version just has them all from the get-go. Uh, you know, we're going to play as Regina from Dino Crisis because it's a pretty bloody cool outfit. And, well, Dino Crisis is such a special cool game. Although I say that like I have some kind of uh, secret hidden knowledge and uh, experience with the franchise where in truth 
I've only really played the first game. In fact, scratch that. I've only played the first game. I thought I had played the fir- the second game. I really think thought that I had actually played a little bit of Dino Crisis 2. Uh, until I looked up a Let's Play of it. And I was like, yeah, I don't remember this, Chief. It's like an arcade shooting game, which actually looks a lot of fun. But no. And Dino Crisis 3, which only came out on the original OG Xbox, which is apparently really hard to get. Um, and it's shit. Uh, it actually costs quite a lot of money as well, if you want to hunt it down on the Xbox. Unless you have a modded Xbox sitting next to you with it on the hard drive. Hmm. Anyway, maybe we'll get to Dino Crisis 3 one day. Anyway, let's go with Regina and head back into Raccoon City. An ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. If only, Jill. If only. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. Up to this point, Jill. You've chopper Delta preparing to drop off at area E nine five zero seven zero four. What are they? Man, what an intro. Farewell to my life. Farewell to my home. What an intro. That blew my fragile little fucking mind when I was a kid. I was so hyped. So pumped. And then the game was a disappointing load of old shit. Said no one ever. This is the last chance for survival. This is my last chance for survival. Well, that may be, Jill. That may be. So this game actually starts off very different to the remake. Um, I'm going to be controversial here. This is my last escape. I actually like and prefer a lot that the remake does. It does a much better job at building up, well, Nemesis and just the characters in general. Um, but... Oh, I don't know. I think maybe, maybe, maybe I prefer this game. I, I don't know. They're, they're really close, but for two completely different reasons. Um, I know a lot of people hated the remake of 3, and that's fine. I get it. I understand why. But I had a good time. So, you know. Uh, the remake of 2 was, although not perfect, very good. Right, let's check these because we start off with two game manuals that completely uh, waste two inventory slots here. So let's just. Uh, don't want to combine it. Let's 
get rid of it. Now this game actually uh, introduced the whole idea of gunpowder and reloading uh, with a reloading tool and making your own bullets and stuff which is a really cool feature which I wish they had continued to use. They did bring it back for the remake uh, and it is really cool but the way it was done in this game in my opinion was still superior because if you keep making bullets you can eventually make enhanced versions of said bullets uh, enhanced shotgun shells and enhanced handgun bullets and that was that, oh man that was just cool right but hey we never got that so whatever yo anyway uh, things are going a little bit south for our hero here uh, yeah you know what we're gonna save the bullet get the fuck off me dude now we have to spam uh, enemies to get them off us. We have to basically uh, face roll the D-pad and the uh, face buttons. I can't really do that at the moment because I have a wicked rust splinter right in the middle of my thumb from work. That's also going to make ne fighting Nemesis really quite difficult. So we're going to cheese him a little bit. But hey, whatever. Winning's winning, right? Oh dear. This ain't good, Chief. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Yes, you are, Jill. Yes, you are. And we intend to try and keep you that way. Oh, dude. I think it's going to take you a little while to starve to death. But, uh, fair enough, man. Uh, you are obviously going through a pretty rough time, and I'm not going to judge. So, we've got an FH spray here. We're going to take it. Uh, probably. I don't know if we're going to use them, to be honest. It's been a long time since I've played this game properly. We're going to take the hang on bullets. Uh, yeah, I think that's all there is here. Now, this guy ain't going to starve to death because it looks like some kind of. Wow, well, I mean, it looks like some sort of storage anyway. I don't know what exactly it's storage for. Uh, but hey, you know. This probably would be a, a good way to hide and, and, and to survive because as long as Nemesis isn't after you, if he stays in there he's probably going to be safe you know, unless something stupid happens, like they they nuke the city or something no, you know uh, but that's not going to happen is it, nuking the city, right let's get into here anyway get our first key of the game Right, give it to me, the warehouse key. Yeah, they do. I don't actually think there's any information of what exactly this is a warehouse for. But, I mean, you'd think there's foodstuffs here, surely. And we also have an ink ribbon, which we are not going to be using. We're going to be using save states because the way the VMU system works on this emulator is a little bit weird. And I still don't exactly 100% understand it. So we're going to be saving at the end of videos. Uh, basically, when I started to try and play this game, I kept having like an error come up about VMU saving and this game wouldn't actually save. Uh, but I reinstalled the emulator and now it works. But yeah, Chief, uh, if I was playing off camera, I'd use save states anyway because I don't give a fuck about actually saving properly on an emulator because what's the point? Uh, but yeah, the, the, um, hmm, I don't know. Something a bit weird. 
Anyway, we're going to be using... We're not going to be abusing save states. Let's just put that straight. We are still going to be playing, like, normally. A delivery voucher book. Okay, cool. Various reports are sorted here. Well, we don't really care about that now, do we? So, yeah, what we... Oh, see, I do it again. I go to push start to go into inventory, like the new games, but no. Right. We're going to be making some handgun bullets because we're going to be fighting Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis, the first fight with Nemesis is actually probably the hardest one in the game because you have no equipment. You've got the shotgun, I guess, that you could use, but it's very slow and, and just not... It's not very efficient to fight him with. You really want to be using your handgun. Or if you've got massive bollocks of iron, you could use the knife, but... Uh, that's a little bit beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. So we're going to use the handgun, and because I can't really mash the controller, I've already done that once in this video, and that fucking hurts. Uh, my thumb is throbbing like a bastard. Um... So, we're probably going to cheese him. I think we did him legitimately in our, my last video of this. I can't really remember. So, we've got some Zeds down here. But we're not going to go that way because YOLO. We're going to go in through here. So, Jill, how does it feel to be back on the mean streets? Also, this city looks really rough. Like, I fail to believe that this street got this messy uh, in a few days. You know, it's just... Mm. Hello? Hey, there he is. There's our hero, Brad. Hey, Brad, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, we got a really fast mobile zombie here. Let's take a few of these guys out. Oh, God. He's really on a bit of a, a, bit of a charge, isn't he? Probably should have grabbed the knife, but yeah, I don't really care that much about the knife. Not going to use the knife. Obviously, in uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, the knife's actually a fantastic weapon. You know, you can save yourself a hell of a lot of bullets and shit like that, but... You know, we're not playing Code Veronica. This is Resident Evil 3. Nemesis. By the way, in case you need to be reminded. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I, I my mind wanders and I think I'm playing Resident Evil 2. Especially when I watch that intro. You see the police cars. For some reason, if I think of police cars, even now, in my adult life... I still think of Resident Evil 2. So let's go down here anyway. Alright, buddy. Alright, calm down. We're we're coming for you, mate. We're coming for you. There you go. Right, we want to be a little bit quick in here because we will be up to our fucking asshole and zombies. Now, to kill Nemesis with the handgun, uh, you need a lot of bullets. He takes a... Oh, hey, friend. Can you fuck off? Thank you. Really don't want to get injured. Not yet, to be honest. So if you could not chew my face, that would be fantastic. Or the back of my neck. You know, some people like that sort of thing. That's fine. But maybe not when a rotten undead zombie is sinking his stinking, decayed teeth into your flesh. I don't think many people would be, you know, into that. But, but who knows? There's a lot of weird kinks out there. I don't, I don't judge. Oof, God, what have we got now? Oh, hey, friend. Can I interest you in coming towards this wall? Thank you. You're one of the good ones, Chief. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Yeah, that's the shop there, I believe, that has all the secret costumes in and stuff. Oh, this guy. This guy's got a bit of a wiggle on, hasn't he? Oh, he's had his bloody Red Bull this morning. Uh, right, yeah, let's go up here. If we go up here, there's actually, like, a map. And there's some more uh, herbs. I guess we're going to go take the map and the herbs. Just because it seems like the right thing to do. You know, it's part of the attraction of Raccoon City. These strange growing wild herbs. I mean, why not? I guess it's common knowledge around here. Um, I guess it's common knowledge around here that the, the herbs that are growing everywhere are good I suppose 
I'm not really sure how that would work. Do people just combine them? You know, if you fall over and smash your teeth open, you just rub a herb into your gums. I'm probably, I guess, you know, it's got to be cheaper than the uh, getting medical insurance or something. Can you imagine what Raccoon City's medical insurance policy must be? It's probably not great. I'm going to just say it. I'm just going to lay it on you. Oh, I can hear gunshots. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, no. Come on, man. Uh, we're still not injured, which is fine. Honestly, what a dick bag. Getting that cheap little bite in like that. Yeah, good luck with that, Brad. I need my bullets. So, clock tower postcard. A picture postcard of a clock tower. Um, yes. Yes, it is. Well, Brad, uh, remember how you abandoned everybody and left everyone to die? Yeah, sucks, doesn't it? Karma's a bit of a bitch. And I always push start. That's going to take me ages. Yay. Good going, Brad. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. Somebody's coming for us. Members. There's no escape. Yeah, personally, the way they kind of like introduced all of that in the remake is way better and way more natural. But that's just my opinion, you know. If you have a different opinion, that's absolutely fine. Uh, right, so we have some fuel for a lighter. Well, that seems like it's going to be quite useful. Let's go load that up and get out of here. We're not going to follow Brad. I'm sure we'll bump into his ass at some point. Is there like anything else in here? Bottles of bourbon line the shelf. Oh, dude, we could just go get wasted and go sit in the trailer with the other guy. Probably not a great idea because, you know, somebody might decide to nuke the city. I mean, you know, crazy. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, I know. But in this crazy world of ours, somebody's always got their finger on the button. Uh, I'm sure that there used to be some kind of stuff in this get in those, but I guess not. Oh, hey, friend. Yes, come to Mama. Good lad. There we go. Oh, you, you'd have to have your friend coming. Oh, really? Just getting a little bit awkward here, Jill. Oh, come on, come on, you fucking shambling. Bastards. There we go. That's fine. I don't mind getting injured like after we've taken on Nemi. Uh, that's fine. Wait, which way do we want? I think we want to go this way. Yeah, uh, like I say, not exactly um, spot on with my memory of this game. So, you'll have to bear with... Ah, yeah, this is fine. Yes, this is where we want to be. Oh, hey, guys. Nice to meet you. Go sit in this corner. Let's try and... Can we aim at the barrel, please? Thank you. That's it, guys. Nice and close. There we go. That'll do. Two survivors. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, don't push start. I did actually try and fiddle with the controls to see if we could uh, change the controls. So, start is actually the inventory, but there is not actually a control scheme where that's the case, sadly. Anyway, let's go burn this. Someone's barricaded that with a, a lot of rope, which, uh, good for them. I, I mean, I guess, right? Oh, no. Uh, that's kind of annoying. And photo, ah, bollocks, didn't mean to skip that. His flesh 
was apparently bitten off or devoured. Well, that sucks for him, doesn't it? That's terrible. Jeez. Uh, photo A. The policemen are pressing forwards. It's dated September 27th. Yeah, that they probably would have had like a much better time if, you know, Chief Irons wasn't being a bit of a bastard and doing his best to sabotage things behind the scenes. Right, let's go. We've got some uh, juicy doggos down here, but that's fine. I'm just going to go into the save room. And we're actually like, we're almost out of time here. We're probably going to have enough time to go fight Nemesis. Maybe. Yeah, we'll have enough time for Nemesis because we'll make it that way. Uh, right, so we've got two. Oh, jeez. Right, we've got that. We've got that. We don't need the lighter for a little while, I don't think. Do want to take the shotgun? Um, hmm, hmm. Um... Possibly, uh, I don't know. The shot to shotgun or not to shotgun? That is the question. We'll take the shotgun, sure. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure we pick up all this powder as well. Now, items in Resident Evil 3 are actually randomized as well. So, slightly anyway. There is like a slight variation to it. So, practice running the game. Uh, you know, works as well as you'd imagine, but if you're trying to memorize where all the items spawn and stuff, not a good idea because the items are random. We could save the game there, but we're not going to. Well, I mean, technically, it is a save room, so... Go on, save the game. It's not really cheating if we're in a save room, is it? Just because I don't want Nemesis to kill us. I mean, I don't think he's going to. But I don't really want to waste the whole video. Because this video is going up hot. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to drag him over here and just get him caught on this little little side bit here. And kill him that way. Uh, we can kill him legitimately by just running to his uh, exposed arm. And it's actually a very easy strategy, but he will occasionally grab us. And unless we mash the buttons to get out of his grip, he'll kill us. And yeah, my farm ain't up to that, Chief. I have a very nasty spin. I've got half of it out. Uh, but the other half is just, it's just under the skin and fuck does it sting if you catch it. Hey, big boy. Ooh. Yeah, he's... He's dead, Jill. Yeah, Brad's intro in the remake uh, is a lot better, I think. Fight with the monster or enter the police station. Uh, we're going to fight with a monster. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, no. This is what hurts, okay? Getting up here. If you don't get up quick enough. Ow. Thanks for the donkey punch in the back, you jackass. If you don't get up quick enough, uh, he will pick you up and kill you. Like, one hit. And you really have to mash the button. Like, seriously. But there's this little sneaky bit down here. Come on, you big dickhead. Yeah, he'll get stuck here. This really trips out his AI. There are actually quite a few places in this game like this bit. I guess we could hit him a couple times with the shotgun. The shotgun is slow, though. I mean, we're gonna... There we go. Now, then he'll break free, but... And I went the wrong way. See, this is where it's going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Didn't get up. Wiggle. There we go. Dead. <laughs> I can't push the buttons hard enough and fast enough with this fuck. So that's why I'm glad we saved it. So that's what can happen. But that was a good, um, good example there of why 
the shotgun's not that great on him either because it just doesn't seem to do anything you know I have experimented with the shotgun and those seven shotgun blasts really don't appear to hurt him much at all uh, yeah let's try it again and we are going to cheese him in that little spot because it's really not that hard to do famous last words yes 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 we're going to fight the monster now there we go he's so like he's so easy to dodge you know uh, especially if you've got enough space even if you don't have a lot of space you just run towards his um, his exposed arm and he he cannot get you so yeah that is that's the way we're gonna do it Now this bit here is like really inconsistent. Sometimes he'll be stuck here for ages and then other times he gets himself unstuck pretty quick. Uh, we seem to be having a somewhat good run here. He takes like a good 30 plus bullets to actually down. That he's he's free. He's free. Once he Oh see he actually Oh, wrong button. He actually got a good little donkey punch on us then. But uh, you just want to rinse and repeat this technique. And he's really is not that tough. Ah, uh, I've wasted some time there. There we go. You can tell when he's about to uh wrong way. Went the wrong way there. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna hurt. There we go. And we're up. But he's oh, I thought he was gonna hit us a second time. Come on, big boy. There you go. I hate to cheese you like this, my friend, but honestly, it's just the best way for me to do this video. Oh, 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 he, okay, okay, he wasn't actually, yeah, that, that death there, that was 110% on me. Oh, see, he was still stuck. I didn't think he was. That was me being a little bit eager. Right, okay. <laughs> One second, guys. Let me get us back up to where we were. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Once more, we're feeling. Come on, Nemi. Come on, buddy. Even with all the stakes stacked against you, you're still uh, you're still showing me up here, dude. It's not good. Oh, here he comes. Can you stop running, man? I mean, seriously? You just donkey punch me like that? Such a dick dude honestly you're such a dick no wonder you've got no friends I mean you probably oh no that was not on man ah that's okay he's actually okay I can okay so if I roll my thumb over the d-pad it actually doesn't hurt that much can we aim at him Jill is that okay you can do that for me thank you you know you don't have to aim at him Alright, we can, we can, oh god, we are a little bit injured here. Ah, uh, now we're very injured. Probably want to use a herb or something. We'll do that in a minute. Oh dear. Yeah, let's use that herb now. We've actually used quite a lot of bullets. He should be pretty injured now. But you can see that donkey punch of his has literally dropped us straight back down. Right, he's gone. That's his first. He's taken his first L. Got to drop him down twice. Rrr, come on, Nemi. Come on. Come take your medicine, you big ugly freak. There you go. We got plenty. We got plenty. Come get me, big boy. Oof, chase me. You're not actually supposed to chase me, Nemi. You're not supposed to chase me. You're not supposed to chase me, okay? That was me being kind to you, dick. Have you never heard of bluffing before? Let's go eat our last herbs. There shouldn't be a lot left of him now, to be honest. Oh, he started walking. Nice. Don't actually know if when he starts walking like that. There we go, he's done. Uh, if he actually gets stuck more. I'm not sure. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for the bloody uh, package. We will take the eagle parts, yes? 
So the Eagle Parts is like a enhanced handgun. Um, it's it's good. It has a higher crit chance and it fires faster, but it's not really any more powerful as far as I'm aware. A lot of people think it's some sort of auto mag and you know say it's the the secret magnum. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, right. Okay. Sometimes I th I'm sure sometimes there's a herb there. I could be talking out of my asshole though. Right. Uh, we will take the card case. It stars Alpha Team member Brad Vickers. His face has been decimated. Yeah, so in the uh, original, uh, or the remake, I should say, you can actually see more of their friendship. And it's. I think it, personally, I thought it was done quite well. But hey, what do I know? All right, so we've got three herbs here. We're going to take the three herbs. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, we're going to remember where they are. Right. Yeah, so the first two fights with Nemi are the roughest. Uh, the first one uh, being by far the worst. It's really not pleasant at all. Um, but, oh, it's a safe. Uh, there's a safe one here. Do you want to? Yeah, uh, you know what? We'll call it a video here. It's the police station map. Yeah, so we're gonna call this a video here because uh, we are uh, like pushing 40 minutes. How the fuck are we pushing nearly 40 minutes? But hey, that's the way it goes. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're gonna continue kicking Nemesis in the nutsack. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.